Hi friends, my name is Raquel. Hola amigos, me llamo Raquel. 你好，朋友们，我叫荣恩。Thanks a lot for joining me. In another video, I explained how you can get your young children ready to read at home. Today, I'll show you how you can take a book picture walk. What's a picture walk? A picture walk is a good example of a quality conversation. A picture walk isn't reading the book; it's talking about the pictures, getting to know the book together. Have a conversation with your child around a book before you read it. Remember to speak in the language that is most comfortable to you, even if the book is in English. Why take a picture walk? A picture walk helps develop your children's language and pre-reading skills. A picture walk teaches a child to take turns in order to have a conversation. It helps children become familiar with how books work and are organized. It gives a chance to introduce new words and what they mean. It provides opportunities to rephrase what the child says, so he or she can learn more language. It extends conversations to help children learn more about something, and it helps children make connections to past and future events, so they understand that language sometimes represents events that are not happening right now. How can you take a picture walk? Point and say the name of the author and the title. Looking at the cover, ask your child what he or she thinks the book will be about. Without reading the words in the book, encourage your child to turn the pages one at a time, and point to a picture and ask what questions. What do you see on this page? What is happening? What is this picture telling you? What do you think will happen? Guide your child so he or she will understand the story. What words must your child need to know? What else does your child need to know to understand the story? When you talk about the pictures, talk about interesting words in the book. Introduce new words and explain what they mean. Have your child tell you what is happening in the story. Expand on or add a bit more information to what your child says. For example, you might say. Yes, that is a cave. A cave is like a hole in a mountain. Sometimes bats or bears live in caves. Help your child make connections between the story and your child's experiences. For example, do you remember when we saw a bear at the zoo? Did the bear have a cave? Remember to take turns and give your child lots of time to make comments and express ideas. And rephrase what your child says, adding more words or ideas. Now let me show you how you can take a picture walk. You don't have to copy me exactly; just find what works for you. Since I don't have a child to read to, I'll be demonstrating with my plush bear. Okay, bear, are you all ready to look at this new book? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's look at the cover. Remember, the cover is the front of the book, and let's see what the title is. It says "Three Little Kittens." So that's the title, and I see one name, Paul Galdone. So sometimes remember, books have two names: one for the author and one for the illustrator. Do you remember who the author is or what the author does? No. No. Okay. So the author is the one who writes the story. And then, do you remember who the illustrator is, or what the illustrator does? No. No. The illustration. The illustrator is the person who draws the story. So since there's only one name, that means Paul Galdone both wrote and drew the story. So let's see. What do you see on the cover, Bear? Cats. Cats. Yeah. Are they cats? Or remember, the title says kittens. What's the difference between a cat and a kitten? Do you know? No. No. Okay. So a cat is usually used for a big or an adult cat, and a kitten is for a baby or for a little cat. So since they're little, then they're kittens. So these are kittens. How many kittens do you see? Three. Three kittens. Yeah. Ka ka ka. 
kittens. So there's starting all with the letter K, kittens. Um, so we have three kittens. And then, oh, the kittens look like they're wearing something on their hands. So you know um, what cats or kittens' hands are called? Paws. Paws. Did you learn that already? You're so smart. Yeah. So the kittens have something on their paws. What do they have on there? What do you see? Mittens. Mittens. Yeah. You're, are you sure those are not gloves? Mittens. Are they not socks? No. They're not hats? No. Okay. You're right. So smart. They're mittens. So let me see. They have, mm, do they have the same color mittens or different colors? Different colors. Yeah. Hmm, I see three different colors for the mittens. What colors are these mittens? Blue. Blue. What about these colors? Green. Uh-huh. And what about this one? Red. Yeah, so blue, green, and red mittens. And how many mittens total do you see? Six. Six? Okay, let's count them. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, five Six. six. So we have six mittens on six paws on the little kittens. And remember, they're baby cats. Oh, do you remember the name of what we, what we used to call cats in Spanish? Gatos. Gatos. Yeah, tres gatos. So there's three cats. And let me see. They have, oh, I see two opening their eyes and one's not opening their eyes. What color eyes do they have? Yellow. Yeah, they have yellow, but their bodies are different colors, right? Yeah. Okay. What color is this cat? Brown. Brown, okay. And then there's some some markings on the side. Stripes. Yeah, they're stripes, kind of like, not exactly, but similar to tigers, remember? Remember Tigger? He's one of your favorite tiger characters? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. What about this one? What color is that cat? Orange. The one in the middle. Orange? Uh-huh. And what about this cat on the left? Gray. Gray? Yeah, but the belly is what color? White. Yeah. So we have different colored cats. And let me see. Can we think of, hmm, who has cats that we know of? Can you think of any names of cats? Garfield. Garfield? Yeah. So Garfield, oh, I remember. Garfield likes to eat something. Do you remember what Garfield likes to eat? Spaghetti? Spaghetti? Uh, pretty close. That's another Italian staple. Uh, Garfield likes to eat lasagna. Mm. Yeah, maybe I'll make some for you so you can remember. Yay! <laughs> Would you like that? Yeah. Okay, good. So we have the three little kittens. And what do you think their names are? Paul? What about this one? Which one do you think? That's Paul. Paul. So the Paul is the name of the author slash illustrator. If we were to make up a name, we don't really know the kitten's name, but if we want to give him a good cat kitten name, what name would we give for the kitten? Bandit. Bandit? Okay, I like that name. What about this one? What would you name this cat? Calvin. Calvin? <laughs> okay, like Calvin and Cobbs. Another, another comic book cat or a comic cat. Okay, and what about this cat? Tom. Tom? Tom like Tom and Jerry. I think we watched that one on TV too. Do you remember? Tom likes to... Um, taste Jerry. Wait, was the cat Tom or was the cat Jerry? I can't remember. Tom but, is the cat. Oh yeah, you're right. Tom is the cat because a Tom is what you call a male cat. So Tom is the cat. You got it. You're so smart. You have such a good memory. Okay, let's open the book. Let's see what else we see. The three little kittens. Okay. There's the title again, Three Little Kittens. And there we see the mittens. And the mittens are on, what does this look like? Clothespin. Did somebody tell you a clothespin? Those are clothespin. Did you read this book before I read it? No. Are you telling the truth? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, the clothespins, and they're clo hanging on a clothesline. We see some other animals on... Uh, the clothesline, what animals do you see? Birds. Birds? What sound do birds make? Cheep, 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 cheep. Uh-huh. And, oh, I forgot to ask you, what sound do kittens make? Meow. Meow. Can we meow three times for the three kittens? Meow. 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 Oh, there we go. 
So what color are the birds? Red. Red. And see, look at the tips of the feathers. It's a little bit darker. What color do you see there? Purple. Purple, yeah. You're so good with your colors. So good. And look at, we see also different colors for the leaves. Do you see that? Hmm, I wonder what season that is. It could be, fall. maybe, <gasps> could be fall. Another term for fall is autumn. Can you say autumn? Autumn. Autumn, yeah. And in autumn, the leaves change colors. So we see a couple different colors. So what color is this one? Orange. Orange. And what about this one right here? Green. Green. And do you see this one way in the far? Green? Yeah, it's green, but it's a darker green. So the um, leaves can turn different shades. Even if it's the same color, they could have different shades. So they can be lighter, they can be darker. Let's see what else we see in the book. Oh, and there we go with the three little kittens. Look at the expressions on their faces. How do they look to you? Do they look mad? Do they look sad? Do they look happy? They look sad. They look sad? Why do you think they look sad? They're crying. They're crying? Oh, what would make them cry? They lost something. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't read the story already? No. Okay. Remember to ask questions and follow answers with more questions. Leave some time for your child to think and answer. And last but not least, praise and encourage your child. Please be sure to check out our other online resources, such as virtual story times. Connect with us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thanks again for spending your time with me. If you need to verify your library card number and PIN, or you need to register for a new library card, please call 209-937-8221 and then press 2. You can also find us online at www.ssjcpl.org. This has been Raquel or Miss Raquel, and I hope to connect with you again soon. Stay safe and take good care of yourselves. Bye.